In the words of bad news, Barrett, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. And in the space of 48 hours, we say goodbye to two wrestling legends. Not only has Terry Funk passed away, but now Wyndham Rotunda, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt, has passed away. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. Wasn't expecting to make this video, just about to sit down and watch SummerSlam 2002. Really looking forward to it. Great pay-per-view. And then all of a sudden, bam, out of nowhere, Bray Wyatt is passed away. And this comes as a shock because it was rumoured he was about to return. He was set to come back to WWE. He was dealing with some sort of illness, but I know it was never stated that it was life-threatening or something that could like end his career or, in this case, end his life. Yet, it has. Bray Wyatt is no longer with us. And it's it's a strange one. It's sad. It is a strange one. And I think what makes it even stranger is like, you're used to people in the wrestling business dying, but they're of a certain age and era. I mean, obviously Hall died quite young, I mean, early 60s, but, you know, Terry Funk, 79, other people like Dusty Rhodes. But with this one, the guy it's in his 30s, feel like the PG era, it's weird. True, but what I would say is I, f I felt like there was a period where we were losing a lot of wrestlers. I think over the past couple of years, deaths haven't been that frequent. No, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Can't really you think. had Don West and then obviously Scott Hall. I think they both happened last year. Uh, the, one half of the Coffee bro, not the Coffee Brothers. Briscoe? By the Briscoe's eye. But no, oh, deaths have been pretty far and few between and then we get two this week. No, back to back. Back to back nights. Uh, Terry Funk and probably within the space of 24 hours, maybe. I thought yeah, because he died earlier today, so it would be in the space of 24 hours. So, very strange there. Now, um, Triple H did tweet the following. He said, quote, Just received a phone call from WWE Hall of Famer Mike Rotunda, who informed us of the tragic news that our WWE family member for life, Wyndham Rotunda, also known as Bray Wyatt, unexpectedly passed away earlier today. Our thoughts are with his family, and we ask that everyone respect their privacy at this time. End of quote. Now, we don't know what the illness was. We're not here to speculate. But it is sad, you know, the guy was, I think he was like, what, 37? 36 or 35. Way too young to go. Born in 87, so has to be around that. Way, way too young to go, man. Yeah. Way too young to go. And, and I mean, I, I, I'm not going to sit, sit here and pretend I was the biggest fan of Bray Wyatt, but I, I do think the guy was creative. He was different. He did have, like, a unique, special look and feel to him. I think his last run wasn't great. But yeah, the Mountain Dew match isn't particularly great. I think he did have potential to be one of the top guys in the company. So from a, even from a WWE like wrestling standpoint, it is a loss. To both uh, WWE and wrestling. But obviously, yeah. more importantly, it's a, it's a loss to his family because it's a human being at the end of the day. Yeah, and uh, I don't know what he's been suffering since February, but IRS literally made a fit about a week ago saying that he was he was in the returning mindset. He was about to come back quite soon, and now all of a sudden, good night. So I don't really understand what's happened. Is it the illness that he had back in February, or is it something completely new? Only time will tell. I doubt we're ever going to really find it. Now, I'm not saying it's like a, you know, a high profile, uh, like secret information, but these things don't normally tend to come out. I suppose at the end of the day, it's none of our business. No, it ain't none of our business, but, you know, 36 is young. At the too, end of the yeah, day. I mean, too young to be... Dying. Dying, I right, so. that's, that's pretty much it. And uh, for Terry Funk as well, may as well talk about him in here. Terry Funk, 79, probably, no, six, ah, yeah, 79, probably wrestling on, even to the day of his death, taking pile drivers. Because yeah. that's what Terry, maybe yeah. these two will have a match. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not convinced Terry Funk wouldn't have had one more, to be fair, if he could have <laughs> lasted a few more years, but uh, we ain't going to get that. Anyway, sucks. Never nice to see anybody die, especially seeing people that you grew up watching, or in Bray Wyatt's case, people that we've seen watch or wrestle over the past, like, 10 years or whatever. So that uh, sucks. So yeah, not good guys, um, not a lot more we can say apart from R.I.P. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt, and uh, condolences to the Wyatt family, rest in peace Terry Funk, condolences to the Funk family, 
And uh, condolences to the wrestling world because this is two big losses back to back. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Till next time, peace.